All right, and we are live right now, starting up the stream. We are Tuesday, so of course Tuesday is Transmog Day. We are here at Rage Fire Chasm. We are at 53%. Uh, got about six items we need to pick up. We're going to run through, see if we can pick those up, because we are on the, the quest to reach 100% on our Transmogs, mounts, and any other collectibles. So here we go. We're going to pick up these quests as well. Go ahead and knock those out. We're on heroic difficulty for tonight, uh, which is a 120. It's kind of crazy because everything's going to be one hit and it's going to die. And we're just going to go through here and pull all the way to the to the first boss. Uh, pick up all this trash, let it follow us in. Now with the scaling, it does scale everything up to 60. But that's all right. I'm gonna go through here to the first boss and drop, drop him. Pop a couple of uh, AOE stuff to knock some of them out. Rescue our first peon right there. Hold on just a second. All right, so we're about to loot this uh, this deal and see what we come up with. All right, there we go. We got a, a collar spike bracer, first transmog piece. So that's good. That got us up to 61%. All right, let's see. We go from here. Like I said, this is a quick run. We are going to uh, knock out as much of this as we can. Like I said again, we're... And we're going to pull all the way to the second boss. One hit. Drop our Consecration for AoE. Rescue our Peon for the quest. And let's see if we get anything here. Uh, nothing that we can use. Don't know why it won't, won't let me loot the corpses for some reason. That is crazy. Uh, probably has to do with some, some insignias or something that I've already got all I need. So it's probably just going to leave them on those bodies. Let's go on to the third boss. Like I said, we're just going to pull everything. Drop some consecrations if we need to. See, do do do. Gonna pick up all these guys. Run over to the boss. Drop a judgment. Loot. Nothing. But we got one. So that's good. That moved us a little step closer. Uh, we'll pick up these guys on the way back out. Right now we're just... Uh, doing our quest.
last boss here. And nothing we could use. So, let's see. Knocking out a few things. Knocking out a few things for not even got some achievements, man. Old time stuff. Uh, missed a peon. I uh, was running around. Got to take care of a little housekeeping here real quick. Uh, let's see. And to add somebody to my friends list. She's leaving the guild. Um, but she's pretty cool, pretty fun to play with. We've been suffering from, our guild has basically fell, fallen apart. Um, GM has left. Um, so now the guild is kind of without any uh, a lead, leadership. She and I were officers, um, kind of running everything. And, you know, it's tough. Uh, it's tough when, uh, when you face a lot of inactivity and people aren't... Um, aren't willing to help out in the guild, people drop, um, it makes it hard, and when that happens, um, you know, you just got to try to pick up the pieces, do what you can, we're going to run out, we're going to reset this guild, we'll turn the quest back in in just a second, when we run it again, we're going to run it a second time on normal, uh, reset it, see what happens, hopefully we can, uh, can pick it up. Pick up a, a couple more pieces. Uh, Paladin's not the fastest thing to run in here, but I am running um, the Steed Charger, so that gives me a little bit of a a boost to get things going. Uh, I will. I'm running Cavalier, so it has two charges. It does help out a little bit, get you moving a little, a little faster. Uh, let me turn some audio on for the for the game here. You guys might want to hear a little background sound, background effects. Oh, good. We can turn the quest in right here at the front. Pick up a little silver. Do do do. Do, do, do. Let's see what's going on. All right, we're going to run outside. Transmog Tuesday. That's where we're at, Transmog Tuesday. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're catching it live or if you're... Uh, Gonna reset instances. See if we can run through here again. If you guys are watching live, appreciate it. Uh, if you're catching a replay video on YouTube or Twitch, I appreciate that as well. Uh, drop by, say hi, give us a follow. Just sitting here chatting, seeing what's going on. start pulling this time we're gonna, gonna do a little different on the pull
Well, I was going to pull to the last boss, but I think I'll still stick to one boss at a time. Of course, I'm in no danger of dying. Just... Alright, that's one boss down and nothing. Didn't pick up anything that time. Uh, mainly because we got everything. Uh, well, looky there. It looks like we are sitting at a hundred percent because. All those characters have been removed from the game. Um, so, let me do a little bit of configuration here. Uh, account filters. Let's take out unobtainable items. There we go. Now we are 100%. So, a uh, little goof on my part. But that did put us up to 100% on Rage Fire Chasm. Have every plate transmog that you can acquire from there. So that was cool. We got lucky on the first run and got the, the first little item. So from here we're gonna we're gonna run over to Wailing Caverns. We're gonna see what uh, what's going on over there. But that is cool to be at 100%. I know Rage Fire Chasm is pretty easy. I've run a lot of times. Uh, used to solo it back before the uh, scaling. I used to run uh, Rage Fire solo a lot of times to uh, to level up. You could be in full heirloom gear and come in here at about level 12 and start soloing depending on your class. Um, it was a good way to get to about a level 20 pretty quick. Two. Oh, B. Mm. All right, let's jump on our infinite time reaver. And let's do some flying. Dun. Auto fly. Alright, so doing a little bit of housekeeping while I'm on the flight path. Um, Basically cleaning out the guild of anybody that has been inactive. Um, so if you've been inactive, 
Gotta go. Especially if they're under 120. I mean, to legitimately, um, if you're not playing and you're not active, um, it's time to go. You know what? Since we are so close to Dustwaller Marsh, we're going to fly down here to Anixia's Lair. Um, since it was reset day, and even though we are transmogging and trying to trying to grab transmogs, let's fly down there and see if we can uh, maybe pick up a mount while we're at it. Plus, we'll check and make sure there's nothing in there that uh, you know transmog-wise, there may be something in there we need. To be honest, I can't remember every little piece of gear in every um, every dungeon. That's why I am working to um, working them in order, kinda. With this being the exception. Do got quite a bit to do over here still. Uh, there's a nice little toy. I have to pick that up. Haven't really done much in these old zones since, you know, um, some of the Cataclysm stuff. You know, I haven't really been back over here to, uh, to see what all I need. Of course, I've been doing the mount run here, but that's been about it. Let's see, uh, 10 player, we still lack quite a bit. 25 player, we still lack quite a bit. Um, we're going to set our loot spec to holy because that gives us the best chance to pick up some transmogs. Do, 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 do. Loading screen, yes. The favorite thing of all WoW players, the loading screen. All right, here we are, 25 man. Of course, we would all love to get the Anixian Drake. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that. And there's a couple achievements in here I need still, but we're not going to worry about those tonight. We'll save achievements for another night. It's probably going to be a short stream tonight. Not going to be on very long. Just wanting to... Uh, See kind of where we're at. I like going to try to run quick content. Um, you know, during the transmogs, I like to run quick content so we can get as many as possible as quick as possible. Then we'll come back and pick up any outliers um, as we can. Do. All right, here she is. The big bad Mama Drake. Thought about going thought about going after the whelps, but just just decided not to. Stage three. 
All right, we got the tempered Viscag, the blood letter. Of course, you can't pick up any more of those bags. Once you get one, they're unique. You can never pick them up again. Um, kind of sucks. They'll send them to you in the mail. You'll be stuck with it. You also get the head. Even though you've completed the quest, you still still get the head every time. I have to just delete that. So what did we get? We picked up a nice little sword. It's pretty cool. Nothing great. Got some... Almost has some Zandalari flair to it. Uh, Would have got a dagger had we been in here on a rogue or something. Now let's just get back out. That's two two dungeons and two pieces of transmog. So now unfortunately this is a raid, so we are locked out until next week. Um, but we got several other tunes we can we can bring in here and try to collect a few more pieces. But for right now, we're going to move on to the next one. We can pick up several here. We got uh, Wailing Caverns. We got Razor Fin. Uh, we can knock out a bunch of those. So lots of stuff to do. Lots, to, lots of stuff. really just trying to, to go for that 100%. Um, you know, that's that's kind of a goal. You set a goal, try to get to it. Um, see if you can, you know. Got a few quests over here in Dustwater Marsh to finish up. We'll come back and pick those up later. Probably do a zone by zone um, clear trying to pick up some of these uh, rare mobs looks like there's a good bit of rares over here some vendor stuff I need to pick up some cooking recipes um, definitely uh, definitely want to get those um, you know what let's go back real quick because I saw a vendor item. Uh, let's get down to it. Um, Midnight Axe. Wow, looks like that sells. Is that a vendor item or is it a world drop? It says it's a vendor item. Now, don't ask me where this guy's at. He is a weapon smith. Uh, let's see, I know there's a town right here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Some goblins. Uh, needed to sell off a few items anyway. So I'm not sure where that vendor's at. Uh, 
If anybody knows, drop it in chat. I'm sure he's at one of these little towns, but you know, right now, uh, Dire Horn Post maybe, or Blackhawk Village. We got time. Let's go up here and see what we can find out. Dum ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba. Oh, there's Grim Totem, so we know they're not gonna be the guys. Do. Hey, I'm now neutral with gadgets and uh, not really what I was looking for because I want to uh, actually get those guys mad at me. Let's see if we can find. So we can find us a vendor, maybe. I think he's going to be here somewhere. There he is. Alright, he does not have the Midnight Axe. It must be a unique item that is on some sort of cooldown. Or may have to do a quest or something to, to unlock it. Um, I'm sure he'll sell it. Just not selling it yet. Oh, pattern, icy cloak. Pick that up. Look at that, 17,000. Um, don't know if it'll actually sell for that, but we'll pick it up and um, nothing else. We will try to, uh, we'll learn it. Got a tailor that can learn that. Let's see. What else we got? Nothing. Uh, there we go. A couple patterns we were able to pick up. Uh, cooking. I found sometimes these patterns actually sell pretty good. You can uh, find people that just don't know where to find this stuff, and they will uh, they'll pay for it. Um, you know, they'll pay to uh, to have it. Matter of fact, I'm going to pick up a couple of those, and we're going to send them to our main auction guy and let him drop him on the auction house and see uh, see what we can do with those um, recipe recipe Send those. Uh, icy cloak can be learned by my main tailor, so we'll send that over to her. And back in the air, we are going to shift click that to do a little refreshing. Huh, still shows that we don't know those recipes. Let's do this, let's open up. Our cooking pain that may refresh the that may refresh everything um, because we we're looking for carrying surprise. Da -da. I 
as you can see there's a lot of stuff I got to do um, well you can't see because I don't have it set up right uh, let's move this up here a little bit um, let's move some stuff around All right, let's drop that right there. Uh, now let's go ahead and head over to Whaling Caverns. which I flew way past it, flew way south, but I'm going to go back up and pick it up. Of course, the barons have changed so much. Lord, I think I passed it again. I think I went the wrong way. I feel like a total noob over here now. There we go. Back on track now. And if you didn't know... Can come into the eye up here as a quest giver. Get some for the pet battle challenge. You can get some damp pet supplies. Uh, so if you're looking to do pet battles, that's a good place to to do that. Now this cave isn't as isn't, isn't actually the instance. Um, you got to get a little, a little further in.
All right, so we're headed to the uh, to the entrance of Whaling Caverns. This is normally the second instance that a lot of Horde players run into. Just naturally, we were left Ogremar, ended up in the Barrens. Um, crossroads a lot of good stuff happens at the crossroads uh, then we ended up over at the uh, whaling caverns so here we go fixing to jump in uh, like I said I've, I haven't done this on these tunes on this tune so we're gonna go ahead and pick up these these quests might as well knock those out while we're in here uh, let's see, holy, 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 holy is our, everything we're missing can be picked up on in a holy spec. So that's the loot spec we're going to keep. That's something important to watch out for too as you're, as you're doing these transmog runs. Make sure that, you know, if you're missing an item, make sure that you're actually in a spec that can, can pick that item up. Because there's nothing worse than running a dungeon several times and realize that the item only drops for holy spec and you're in protection. I picked up a little green right there. Nothing to write home about. Um, it's really just a little bit of gold we can we can take home with us. Let's go ahead and get this one while we're while he's walking. All right, we got his back. So for tonight, we've run three dungeons and we have picked up three pieces of transmog. I know that's not the best, but it's better than nothing. So. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see if we get something here. All right, we did get we did get a piece of transmog. We got the snake charmer's helmet. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, this looks like some classic gear, really. Uh, we got a ten slot bag. Not really good for anything anymore could have been back in the day or when you're first leveling it could come in pretty handy we did pick up that back which is a nice little shield little turtle shield, shell shield and we do want to kill these raptors for a couple different reasons um, one is they They have a chance to drop a raptor pet. And everybody likes pets. Two, we're doing the quest. So we want to make sure we're killing them for the deviant hides as well. Now I did take the long way around just to kill those raptors uh, for a chance for some for a nice for a little drop. Uh, we are at 75% whaling caverns, which is pretty good. Now that is just for plate wares. That is just for this this character being a plate wearer. Um, there's going to be some cloth appearances and some leather appearances we don't have as, you know, we don't have access to. You know, even though as a plate wearer we can wear those items, we do not get credit for the transmog. It's important to know, transmog hunting, uh, you're only going to get credit for items that are set up for your spec. 
So even though you pick up weapons and, and gear that's not set up for your spec, you're not going to get credit for it. But we're starting out with plate. We will eventually run through mail, leather, and cloth until we get all of them. Um, with the exception of that is some backs and off hands. Uh, you can pick those up on any character. I've run this many, many times um, on my Hunter, my Warlock. Uh, back in the day, run a lot of the uh, leatherworking stuff through here. You know, if you were a leather worker, you came through here a lot. All right, let's see if we can get the pauldrons. That'd be a great day. Nope. Make sure to always pick up those chests as well. All right, we did not get the pauldrons, so it looks like we will be making a uh, another run through here. Where we already have that appearance from another item. But we want the appearance from that item as well. It just shows you are willing to put in a little bit of work to, to get them all. You know, people appreciate a little work. If you're willing to do a little, a little extra work, grind stuff out. You know the true hardcore players they they appreciate that because they know what the percentages are they know what the drop chances are and they know that if you go into um, you know ICC you got less than a one percent chance to get invincible so if you put in the work to farm invincible uh, you know it's it's something people recognize now that wasn't a great example because of the the way they cheat they cheat the lockout nowadays but, um, all right, let's see. Oh, nothing from there as well. Uh, let's see, I gotta remember which way to go. Or Pythus. All right, so we're back out. Killed everybody on this end of the dungeon. Got okay, one more shot. Uh, Be nice to see the Deviant Fairy Dragon. But we got one more shot at Verdan to uh, pick up a shield. Boom, scum is dead. Of course.
which we've already had everything off of off of him before. So I had no real expectations to get anything. Do bags are filling up pretty quick. There's a lot of trash items in here you'll get. Well, basically what I do is uh, I just fill up my bags and once they get full, you know, I'll just kind of look and get rid of the stuff that's got the very low, low item uh, price. Yeah. A lot of people like to run through, pull all the trash, and then loot. I just loot as I go. It it's it seems to be just as fast to me. I'm sure it's not, but I don't mind it. Oh, so you know, another day, another run. Do a lot of Warcraft. Play every single. Every single day, every single night. And you make sure to make this jump right there. You do not want to miss that. That sucks if you do. Because you got to run all the way back around. Let's see, inventory is full. Drop that. Alright, here's our main main guy we're after. Let's see if he dropped that buckler. There it is. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of some bread here. Pick up the buckler. Mm. Alright, that is a very productive, very productive uh, transmog run tonight. With those couple pieces. Make sure we got all these bad boys. I'm going to run jump in this hole. Fall through to the water. Uh, really like the way they got that set up. A lot of the dungeons now, I feel, are missing the, the way to, to really escape from them quickly, to reset. Mm, that's a good looking cloak. Don't know who you are. Got to talking to somebody and went crazy. Forgot where I was at. Happens a lot. I'm, you know, getting older. Find myself not, uh, not remembering where everything is at the way I used to.
here's the problem we got no bag space so let's see if something we can get rid of light feathers 21 copper Yes, yes, yes. Let the let the eternal sun shine upon me. Let's go wake the dreamer. Uh, at least he runs now. He used to walk very, very slowly. Um, he runs now, which is really great. Always hated it to see him uh, not doing anything. This is going to keep him alive, which is really no big deal. Um, it used to be, not anymore. Still is if it's level appropriate content, but right now it's super out geared. So no worries about anything I mean it's just yes 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 Nilax is sleeping Narlax let's go wake him up nice cold milk always sells during the holidays make gingerbread cookies Start making some of those pretty soon. Get those up on the auction house. Winter Veil's coming up. I uh, always like to make gold. No sense in getting in any hurry on this. Um. Basically, we're just going to stand here and wait till everybody gets here until he summons out the big boss. And here we go. Utanus, the devourer. And boom, he's down. Let's see, four gold, four gold. A couple gold. So let's see, we want to get rid of... Some stuff doesn't sell for much.
right, there we are. Maybe the postmaster will uh, send it to us. Whaling caverns, we're sitting at 81% on our plate. In just over an hour, we managed to pick up a couple pieces. Whaling caverns is one of my least favorite because it takes so long to get inside and back out. Um, just not something I'm, uh, I'm big on. I don't think I can carry this. Oh, yep, I did have some in my in my bags. I'm gonna jump over to our uh, druid here in a minute. Need to go farm up some ghost iron. Uh, working on some sky golems and want to takes plenty of ghost iron to uh, make that possible do you want to pick up those prospector boots they do auction pretty well. Get rid of some stuff here. Actually, get to count that as a transmog because we can send that over to one of our other characters. Um, so, we are doing pretty good tonight. Oh, there's another piece of transmog. There's another piece of transmog we can pick up. So, let's see. That one's already collected, but man, look at that. It sells for 12,000 gold. So, we're going to hang on to that. Put that on the auction house. Going to go ahead and get rid of that bag. It doesn't do us any good anymore. This is another piece of transmog gear. A couple more. All right, so we did pretty good with transmog gear for tonight. Um, got a few pieces. Let's go ahead and learn a couple of these. Let's see, we can learn that back right there. Let's get that knocked out. Around sell that now. 
um, cloth, cloth, mail, leather. All right, got. A f you can see my my daughter Abby here, sneaking in, trying to see what's going on. She's been playing Fortnite recently. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, that's going to wrap up this part of the, the stream for tonight. We're going to gonna log off on this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. We, like I said, we did find some transmog items um, for our plateware. We got a little closer to the 100%. Got some transmogs items for some of our other classes as well. We'll pass those off to them. Uh, we will pick up later with another stream uh, every Tuesday about 9 o'clock. You can find us here where you're going to be doing Transmog Tuesday for roughly an hour, um, 9 to 10 every Tuesday. Um, join us for that, and we will uh, see you guys next time. Don't Thanks for joining the stream. Don't forget to follow and like. That's right, subscribe. And turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. There you go. Talk to you guys later.